previously on exercise 16.8 switch pairs we coded a method that would switch a set of pairs with each other's position we did this there are switch method pairs but we can also do this with recursion so after we commented out our original code we can start writing our recursive code looking at our original code we can copy this down and the rest is a while loop it's in a while loop so this everything in our while loop is going to be in our recursion method so we can just close off our switch pairs but before we do that in here we're going to have to have recursion and pass through our current like this now we can work in our recursion method we're going to make it public void recursion it's going to take the parameter current which is a list node and in here we are just going to do what was in our while loop so we can paste this in here and change our while to an if keep all of this the same and just add a recursion and pass in this current and then close off our method and when we do that we submit it and make sure we spell everything correctly and then it should work and pass all of the tests. So in here, what we're doing is we are making a new list node. We're calling it current and we're setting it equal to front. We're passing in this list node. We're taking our list node as a parameter and as long as it's not null and the next value is not null, so it can switch them, we're just going to make a temporary value which will get the first value and assign the second value to the first value's previous position and then assign the first value to the second value's previous position, which will switch them. Now we're going to increment current by two. That way we don't examine the same two over and we're gonna pass that through our recursion and do that all over again until our current is equal to null or current.next is equal to null.